Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Ahmed Higazi from SE Cat Solutions. Inshallah, in this uh, part of tutorial, we will uh, discuss uh, uh, drawings creation. Uh, in the first part, we create uh, the 3D model for uh, this horizontal uh, equipment. Okay, uh, as uh, mentioned on the uh, previous uh, tutorial, we uh, make this uh, vessel with uh, the uh, those attachments and uh, uh, today inshallah we will uh, make uh, a new uh, element uh, to include it uh, to the 3d model it's not indicated in SEG library so we will uh, generate it uh, manually and add it to the 3d model and uh, we will learn how to add it to SEG uh, bill of material to export it uh, to our uh, drawings. At the beginning, we will uh, create uh, those two clips here, and we will use uh, the uh, uh, one uh, type, uh, a new type uh, for uh, the blades here available in SEG. If you select nozzle in the two pipe, which is uh, this nozzle, okay, that nozzle, and from here, from uh, external attachment, we will find a, a long blade. Okay, so we will select this one and make into support one, sorry, into support one. And <clears throat> from here, let's select uh, a longitudinal uh, Blade by that way, if you would like to make it in uh, external or internal, but in our case, it's uh, external uh, blade. You have the ability to make it a channel like that, or uh, uh, UBN uh, uh, internal or external. In our case, we will make a long uh, blade. Let's define the height as uh, 50 millimeter, the thickness, let's make it 8 millimeters the material uh, let's keep it as it is and for the location let's make the location uh, equals 1500 the orientation let's make it add zero and the width uh, we will make it looks like the uh, height which is 50 millimeters and we will have two blades around around the pipe we have two long Plates here, so we will make a one of them and better it by SEG. So let's close, save, and from here let's create the 3D model. Okay, now uh, as you can see, here that's the clips, and uh, we may need to. Uh, rotate it uh, 90 degrees okay uh, after that uh, we will make a modification by adding a hose to this uh, clip so at, uh, from here we will change the orientation to 90 degree and let's increase the location a uh, little bit and from here click save let's add another uh, clips to nozzle in line so from here, we'll select elements and external attachment and long blade and uh, in line, in line support one. Okay, and from here, let's keep all information as this is and from here, let's select looks like in to support to avoid repeating the information again. And from here, let's click start the assembly to modify the first clips and uh, creating the uh, other clips on uh, nozzle N9. Okay, now we have those two clips and uh, we, uh, we need to make a hole uh, cut on the first uh, clip. So let's open the first clip from here. That's the first one. And let's create a sketch. And from here, let's add a point defined 
this point vertically to the middle and to the middle of the horizontal click finish and from all feature let's select this and define the whole diameter to be let's say 14 millimeters and click save the same thing we will do it with the second support so from here let's open the second clip on a nozzle in line and from here let's add a hole at the middle and make it horizontally and vertically with the mid span of the blade and from holes define it as 14 millimeters and click save now we generate those the next step which is creating this part this part is not included in SCG and we will make it manually and we will learn how to create it and add it to the 3d model okay from here let's create a new part and from here let's create a sketch and let's define the inside diameter of this equipment so let's check the general arrangement here that's the inside diameter 1981 so 1981 that's the inside diameter and we have a vibe here with outside diameter let's check the 3d model so it's two inches vibe so if we select this one so that's the outside diameter of the vibe so let's define this diameter like that and from here we will measure that from the drawing but right now we have this clip with 50 millimeters the two sides 50 millimeters and 50 <coughs> millimeters okay and we have a hole here at the center is 14 millimeters and let's make it horizontally with that one and vertical with that one the center so we have this point point uh, referred to the center span of uh, the line now let's uh, convert all of those lines to construction lines and from here we need to measure the actual location of this one so let's uh, create a quick uh, drawing to check the uh, dimension and from here let's add uh, that view with the scale 1 to 50 for example and uh, let's take a section so from here let's take a section before this nozzle and let's measure the distance from here to the uh, inside diameter of the vision so it's 100 350.5 so from here let's add a point at the center so from here to there hundred thirty five point five so that's the location of this clip now let's draw the uh, required clip this one with those dimensions okay so from here let's make that sketch check that one okay and Again, we have another line with 50 millimeters, so we have that one, that, and convert that one to construction line like that. Now we need to define the uh, those lenses 76 and 70, so that value is 76 and 70. Okay, and for that one it's 41 so here it's 41 one more thing we need to add an arc here so you can do it by using that one which is arc like that okay and uh, now let's finish the sketch and make extrude to this element so let's make an extrude with eight millimeters 
And from here, let's convert the material to steel. And the color, let's make it yellow, smooth yellow. Okay, now we have this part. If we make this sketch visible, we can make a, a rotate or pattern, circular pattern for this part around the uh, Y axis. So from here, let's select this pattern and make two plates from that one around the Y axis. And let's save this part. Now, if you try to save it from Autodesk Inventor by clicking on save, you will not be able to save. So for saving, you should open SVG software and from here, select save document. Save active document and you will receive this form. So from here, let's create a new project, external parts. So we will generate a new folder called external parts and add this part, which is in uh, two and in nine supports. Now let's add this uh, part to the uh, 3D model. So from here, let's import this part. So from external parts, let's add those two items. And uh, from here, we can uh, make some uh, constraints for that one. So from here we have, sorry, from here we have the uh, first one for N2. We have the axis, which is Y axis. So we will make it with that one. And from here, let's select that radius to the inside diameter of that one so we have this support by that way and if you try to uh, move it a little bit like that okay so we can uh, remove this constraint now and from here we can make those parts by that way here fitted to that surface okay so it will be like that and from here let's make that surface with that one and we could rotate this plate little bit back okay or make the extrude of this part to outside here as you can see, we generated on uh, that side, so we could move it a uh, little bit uh, with an offset from uh, the main part. Okay, how we can do that? If we, uh, as you can see, we have this work plane, which is at the center of uh, the part. So if we uh, move it, take an instance from it with the uh, half thickness of the blade so uh, the first blade and let's move that at the beginning here and from here let's define this sketch to be located on that plane now in that case sorry now in that case you will get the correct configuration like that by moving this clip and make it shifted to the vessel now the same thing we will do it with the next support so from here, let's make constraint with the center line here, and the same with the visible center line with that one. And the same thing, we will do it here for that constraint. Now we have this support uh, eclipse for this nozzle. And if you would like to add a tightening bolt for this one by using SEG library, external library, here from here if you open the accessories you will find some accessories here you can use it for like bolts knots if you would like to add uh, that one now we will uh, learn how to add an external item to a cg bill of material so from here uh, let's open the uh, bill of material and from external bill of material let's select the vessels that the first step after that let's add the quantity we have four supports the description is five clip and for the technical characteristics it's a plate let's say uh, let's measure the dimensions of this plate so the maximum 
height. Sorry, let's create a sketch here. So let's make that one visible. And from here, let's measure the maximum width 146. Okay, and 177. Okay, 177, 146. Eight millimeters. Okay, the material it's is a that's the material and for the weight. Let's measure the weight for this part. It's uh, two point six because we have uh, 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 two supports. Okay, so it's two point six, and for the part name, it's let's. Take the same name here, part number one. The markers keep it as it is empty. Okay, now we have. If you check uh, SEG bill of material, you will find the last row, last row here for the pipe support. Okay. Now let's proceed to create uh, our uh, drawings. So let's close this drawing, and we have the uh, complete 3D model for uh, the equipment. Here, as we discussed on the first uh, tutorial part, we uh, generate the 3D model, make uh, the modification for the stiffening ring here, add all pipe supports, uh, add the uh, nameplate, add tightening bolts, and the manway. Now let's uh, proceed with the drawings and let's uh, take a look how we can do that. From uh, SEG3, let's select the equipment mode, and uh, from here you will find the design data here. Now we, we, we need to modify this design data. You have three different uh, ways. The first way here, if you would like to double click on the cell and modify the value directly from here, you can do that. Uh, by removing the selected checkbox, uh, this value will not be exported to uh, the uh, your drawing. The second way by importing an Excel sheet, and that Excel sheet should should be filled uh, by that way. Here, if we open that one, you can figure that uh, you can fill this Excel sheet. You should have three uh, columns and no empty cells. You should have a value inside uh, each cell and start directly from A1 up to C1. Okay, now we have uh, those values and now let's uh, import that Excel sheet here. So from import Excel, we will select the design data file from the desktop. And now uh, SEG will ask us if you would like to empty the grid and fill it again. So we will accept yes. So the previous uh, design data will be removed and we will replace it with that one and let's click on save now uh, let's uh, start creating the drawing so from here let's uh, right click on the vessel and from drawings let's select create drawing and from here let's define the drawing size so let's select a1 and from the active view you can select the required views in your drawing we will uh, need to uh, make an elevation view like that and make a side view after that we could make a key plan so right now let's make two views so we have an elevation view and back view and let's define the spacing between them as four centimeters so all spaces here if you take a look to that node all spaces are in centimeters so that value will be in centimeters from here, let's take uh, a look to the elevation view, and you can select the orientation of the elevation view. So, if you take a look from the left view, so that will be the elevation view. If you take a look from the front view, so that will be the elevation view. So, in our case, we need to make that view as elevation view. So, from here, let's select left view, define the location of the view in X and y direction let's make the scale 1 to 14 and from here let's add the design data table bill of material table 
and the nozzle table we need to add a nozzle table and let's add the notes if you have more notes you can add it here and for the welding detail let's open <coughs> the welding detail and select the required welding detail we will need this detail uh, no elbows and nozzles without a reinforced bed nozzle with rebed and we will need this detail that one and let's select uh, uh, that detail if required no. okay so let's click on save and from here let's add uh, the uh, drawing title so it's general arrangement okay and <clears throat> it's the drawing number and from here let's edit the revision table so from here it's revision zero description issued for review okay and prepared by click save now let's add some empty rows okay and from the design style <clears throat> from this tab you can define the required number of sheets per your drawing here we you can add uh, up to three sheets per drawing in our case we have a, a little bit huge bill of material so we can export it in a separate drawing or a separate sheet and we need to uh, add another sheet for the 3d model so let's check if we can make three sheets here and the size of the second sheet will be a3 and the size of the third sh sheet will be uh, a3 <coughs> Or a uh, let's make it a2 okay and from here let's move the bill of material table to be in design too so the first sheet will include the views and the other tables the second sheet will include the bill of material as we defined here <coughs> the third sheet we will add the 3d model with the balance on it or we could make it two sheets only Okay, and increase the size of the sheet or the second sheet and we could add the 3d model with the uh, bill of material with the notification now let's click on save and click on create drawing to proceed with uh, drawings creation Here, as you, if you take a look here to this tree, you will find we have two sheets, first sheet and that's the second sheet. For the first sheet, we have uh, the views and we, after uh, filling the bill of material, which is on the second sheet, we will uh, open the first sheet to check the views and the other tables. Okay, here that's the first sheet, and now the building details will be generated to the drawing.
Okay, now the uh, drawing is, is done. And we have two sheets. Here's the first sheet, includes the uh, views, the elevation view and the back view, the design data table, <coughs> the notes table and nozzle table. And we could make a quick modification for the view location and scale. So from here, I'll right click and from drawings, let's select create drawing and let's <coughs> modify the location of the view a little bit and increase the scale and increase the spacing a little bit and click generate drawing. Okay, now we will uh, make a modification on the uh, second sheet which is uh, modifying the uh, bill of material location we will make it start from here so let's make uh, arrange uh, this one so from table layout let's make the arrangement start from top to bottom like that and the direction from top to bottom by that way and uh, let's click on save so now you can figure that the bill of material arrangement will start from top to bottom so let's move the bill of material here Okay, now that's the bill of material. So we, we you can uh, increase the width of uh, the cells by if you right click on that and increase uh, the uh, width of the cell. And on the same thing, we can do it from here, increasing the width. And you can make <coughs> sorry, modify the uh, alignment of the text inside the row by that way <clears throat> so let's modify the alignment and click on save okay now we have uh, this bill of material a complete uh, bill of material for uh, your equipment and let's add a 3d model view for uh, the equipment here on uh, that view so let's make it scale 1 to 20 so let's add it like that and <clears throat> one more step we will do it let's uh, remove this uh, title and uh, from here we need to reflect the balloon item number for the items for example if you select the balloons and from here you will find the different types of balloons in that case we will select item number balloon so if you select this hit for example and select parts only like that you will find this balloon is empty for the same for the shell if you select the shell the other shell you will find all balloons empty so how to fill uh, those balloons from here let's save uh, this drawing and uh, let's come back to SEG software and from here we will uh, select the uh, update item number this checkbox will give you the ability to reflect this item number to the 3D model on Autodesk Inventor because SEG uh, make uh, a comparison between the items uh, and select the identical items like here in this flange for example we have uh, six identical items for nozzle N2 flange and in the two flange two in nine flange one flange two flange three so uh, SEG compare the uh, description and the technical characteristics of the material and the weight of that item if they are identical that means they are sym uh, symmetric or identical so SEG will give them the same item number so to reflect this item number we will need to update the item number so from here click on update item number this process takes some time because it uh, takes around three up to five seconds for each element so we will wait until uh, updating the item number and complete uh, uh, our drawings <coughs> now after updating the uh, item number for the bill of material if we come back to the drawings automatically you can figure that 
the balance will be filled. For example, here we have item number one. If we go to the bill of material, item number one, we have two items from this one. It's an ellipsoidal head with inside diameter with the value nominal thickness, minimum thickness after forming a straight flat. And here that's the material and the weight for both items. So if we select this item and select item number in bill of material, you will get that value. If we select this flange, it's item number 10. This pipe, it's item number 22. So if we check item number 10, here it's a flange with three inches. Uh, will the neck rest face with class was 150, schedule 160. And item number 22 is a seamless pipe, three inches, uh, schedule 160, and that's the length of the pipe. Same if we uh, select this stud bolt, for example, and here if we add a balloon for the uh, nut. So item 6, 6, and uh, 66 and 67. So item 66, it's a nut. Okay, and 67 is a stud bolt. Okay, so by that way you can reflect the bill of material of uh, the item number of the in the uh, of the SEG bill of material to the 3D model and reflect it to your drawings. Here, let's come back to our drawing here and let's create. Uh, uh, dimensions of, of this uh, equipment by adding uh, the definition of the inside diameter so from here to there let's define the inside diameter so from here let's edit the text and add you can see that the value is not to be uh, it's a fixed it's a constraint you can you cannot change it if you modify the text just we will add a notification that the inside diameter okay and let's add the uh, some uh, the 10 lines here and on the other head those are the 10 lines and let's add the uh, center lines of nozzles to define the location of the nozzles so from here that's the first center line the saddle <coughs> for those nozzles that one the name blade nozzle for the other nozzles the same thing we will do the second saddle that nozzle for the lifting lugs here and there for uh, those heli side nozzles let's add center lines and on the other view let's add <coughs> a center line here for the vessel and let's add center line for those heli side nozzles like that and now let's add some balance and the uh, define the reference line uh, the, or the datum line here you can figure that the datum line is located on the right hand side so we will define the uh, datum point to be at uh, that line so from here from uh, ordinate we will select the vessel and define the datum line to be at the town line and now let's add the location of the nozzles for all nozzles <coughs> like that so automatically it will appear by that way the same thing we will do it at the bottom nozzles so from here let's Select this one, select the saddles and the second saddle. And for the lifting lugs, we forget to uh, make it. So from here, let's select this uh, one, the first 
a lifting lug and that's the second lifting lug okay now let's add the balance and uh, let's uh, hide the uh, origin point so from here let's right click on any dimension and hide the origin point let's define the uh, shell lenses so that's the first shell length and that's the uh, straight flange the second course the third one and the second straight flange and we will make a modification here for that one so let's define straight flange equals like that and let's copy that modification here so it's the straight second straight flange length okay now let's define the uh, 10 to 10 so let's measure the value from here to there and let's add a text 10 to 10 okay that value <coughs> and let's add the uh, balloons for nozzles so from here let's select balloon and from here select nozzle tag so and from here let's select the uh, nozzle balloon Okay, as you can figure, we select the uh, manhole flange, not the manhole nozzle. So you can add, attach a balloon like that for the manhole and remove the previous balloon. And for the lifting lug, let's select the lifting lug and from here select nozzle tag. So it's lifting lug one for this nozzle, it's N7. Okay, that's a flange so by the same way let's select the nozzle itself and remove that balloon for the flange select a balloon for the nozzle tag like that make it aligned with the next balloon no problem if you cannot select the nozzle you can select the flange after that defined the uh, balloon of the nozzle in a correct way like that sorry make it aligned by clicking on control <coughs> during selection for this nozzle we will select the nozzle itself and the same for the other one select the nozzle not the flange and remove the balloon of the flange so we have <coughs> the balloons like that by that way and uh, here let's add another balloon for for uh, that nozzle so let's select this nozzle and from nozzle tags let's add a balloon for this nozzle so from here let's select this one sorry continue and the same for this nozzle we could uh, select sorry We could select the uh, control during selection to make it aligned and perpendicular to another nozzle. So same thing here. That's the sliding saddle. And here we have the fixed saddle. Okay, and if you would like to add some balance related. Define the item number like that for the main items like the shell courses and like that. And if you would like to add a, notif a notification like the BART tag, like this head description, you can add it like that. 
<clears throat> for the uh, other, uh, for the, the same view, we will add some notification like longitudinal welding line orientation and the datum line. So from here, let's select that view and uh, select, uh, click on S, or from here you can select uh, sketch, start sketch. So uh, you can add some uh, lines or text over this view. So from here. Let's define the datum line. Okay, that's the datum line. And let's rotate this value counterclockwise. So that's the datum line. And if you would like to add a right hand line like that. Okay make it rotate it like that and take a copy from that one from here to there and define it as right turn line left turn line like that <clears throat> now let's add the uh, seam line orientation so it's uh, longitudinal seam line one Okay, <clears throat> that's the longitudinal seam line one. So let's take a copy from that one to here, the second longitudinal seam line and the third one. So that's second one. And here, the third one. And let's add a, a circumference seam line one. And let's rotate it like that. Take a copy, select first, and take a reference point. We have that line, another line here, and the last one. So that's number two, scene line two. Three and the last one, number four. Okay, now let's click on finish. To define the center of gravity of this one, the accurate center of gravity, you can generate it automatically from here by clicking on the view and from here select center of gravity. So here that's the center of gravity and by using the uh, SEG blocks, you can add this uh, to define the center of gravity of this equipment in the empty case. Now let's add some other dimensions here on the other view, like the saddle height, the base blade width, and let's move this title down here, the uh, early side offset of both nozzles, the projection of the nozzle, so from here to there, let's Measure to the facing of the flange. The same thing we will do it with the bottom flanges, the projection for the bottom flanges, and the projection of those nozzles to the center line. So you can add that value like that here, or you could move it a little bit at top here. So that will be the center line from the top, like that. And let's add some balloons here and there. So that's the nozzle tag. Let's select nozzle tag and let's add that one here and there. The same for the name blade. Sorry. Okay, and let's add uh, a location for uh, the name plate here because we forgot to add it. So you can move it down here and let's add a balloon to the name plate from the reference timeline. Let's move this title below here and let's define the location of the saddles and the spacing between them from the 10 lines. 
like that and let's add a key plan for that one so from here let's select project view select that view and let's create key plan and this key plan we will change the uh, scale of that one so let's name it as a key plan and uh, if you would like to make a modification on the text here you can do that but right now let's change the scale so let's make it 1 to 40 and break the view to be able to change the location of that one so we can move it like that so here it's the plan so here that's the view which is the key plan you can move it up here or if you would like to uh, move it outside the drawing you can do that and from here you can define the orientation of the longitudinal building line orientation so from here the orientation of the vessel it's zero degree 90 degree one hundred and eighty and 270 degrees and here it's zero degree okay and click finish now if you would like to add some balance at the top to define the uh, balance at the top so you can add that by that way and by using the attach balance you could add the other nozzles by that way and if you would like to add <coughs> another nozzle you cannot select let's uh, for example try to add n7 here we cannot select n7 because we have uh, too much lines so easily to select it you can attach balloon like that after that double click and modify seven by that way you can add a text like uh, that on the balloon tag and for here let's make uh, an extend for the center line and for the balance let's select nozzle in four and let's add attach balloon and as the other nozzle which is in three now we have uh, the general arrangement drawing which include the uh, revision table the design data table and the nozzle table here now let's add some uh, welding uh, notifications the welding notifications here we have this uh, detail for the uh, circumference welding uh, detail so let's name it as uh, W1 and here we have W2 for the longitudinal welding line orientation and now if you would like to modify that so we can make uh, edit text so we can modify this value as 4 uh, minus or negative 1 and for here you can define that value sorry 2 and that value is 1 and you can make a copy for that copy properties if you would like to defined uh, this by that way like that the same thing we will do it with that one okay so you can modify and change the willing tail now let's add this panel and refer it on that drawing so from here let's select uh, insert uh, sketchy samples and from here let's select uh, sample w1 for the uh, circumference welding lines so we can define the circumference welding lines like that and for the longitudinal welding lines let's select w2 so we can define the welding lines longitudinal building lines like that sorry let's move that one 
to here and for the <coughs> nozzle to uh, flange let's add a welding line number three so it's welding line number three for nozzle to uh, pipe so from here let's select style three okay and sorry for those styles they are uh, it's building detail too so let's modify it like that okay and let's insert <coughs> w3 so if you would like to modify something like that you can add the welding style to the nozzle by that way with the nozzle to shell for nozzles without reinforcing bed it's nw1a so from here if you open the nozzle details in the W1A so for nozzles without a uh, reinforced bag so the weld detail here will be related to that and for nozzles with reinforced bag it's NW3A so from here NW3A so we can modify and or edit uh, the weld style by that way it depends on your uh, drawing requirements so if you need to add something like that you can add it if you uh, don't need it so it's up uh, to you now we have the general arrangement drawing uh, we can uh, deal with this uh, general arrangement drawing by exporting it in uh, DXF extension dwg extension or bdf so if you would like to print this drawing in bdf format so if you right click on the drawing and from here you can export to and you will find here a list of uh, extensions you can export to it like dwf bdf all of that and you can make a safe copy as uh, by using this button so if you click on save copy as and open uh, this form you will be able to select um, some other extensions like uh, a bdf extension so if we uh, select the bdf extension and make it ga for example and save copy as from this drawing as bdf okay now after exporting let's check the project here so we have this BDF here we have the two sheets <clears throat> the first sheet include the two views of the drawing <clears throat> including the location of nozzles and the main dimensions of the equipment including the design depth table the mood table the nozzle load table and the second sheet includes the bill of material and <coughs> the balance which indicate the uh, item number of uh, in the bill of material by the same way uh, you can make other drawings for the let's say for the support uh, saddles for nozzles for any other attachment so let's try that so from here let's select uh, saddle one <clears throat> so let's select the fixed saddle and from here let's select right click and create drawing let's select the size of the drawing as a2 define uh, the number of views we will need two views so for the uh, fixed saddle let's open the fixed saddle here we have the 3d model of this fixed saddle and by the way we need to take a look to the saddle from this view which is the back view so uh, let's define the spacing and the elevation view will be the back view so that view we will use it as an elevation view in our drawing so let's select that and for the scale let's make it one to eight let's add a bill of material to this one let's remove the notes and the welding details from here it's saddle detail drawing number 
and let's edit this table it's revision zero let's add this one another empty cells and it's a one sheet and let's create the drawing <coughs> Here the uh, saddle details and the bill of material of the saddle. Now let's add uh, some uh, notifications or some dimensions to this saddle, like the saddle base plate dimensions and the height of each rib, like that. The spacing from here to there spacing from here to there and let's take a section on that view to specify the whole dimensions so let's add center lines like that and define the offset of of this one from here to there we have 13 millimeters the offset from here to there the whole diameter and if you would like to add a notification here, like for like that, on the other view, let's add some other dimensions, like that, the weird plate widths, the top widths of that one. Let's add some balloons so the as a parts weird and the inside ribs. Let's add the inside diameter, the thickness of the wheel plate, the thickness of the base plate. And if you if you would like to add a 3D for this saddle, you can add it like that, and you can control the color and uh, the scale of this one. Let's increase it a little bit, like 14. Okay, and you could add balance on it like that. Okay, and let's move this view a little bit by hand, like that, and for the second one. If you would like to add <coughs> the other base blade detail on the same drawing and add another detail for the uh, uh, grounding lug, we can do that on the same drawing, but by hand. So from here, let's insert a view, and let's select the second saddle, which is... Uh, sliding saddle so from here let's select the sliding saddle and move it at here and define the scale the same scale of of uh, this one to one to eight i think okay it's one to eight okay and make it aligned with the, uh, that view aligned vertical and let's take a section here another section for that view for the sliding saddle so we can add another view for here and modify that for the sliding saddle so from here as a sliding saddle so 
so this view will be for the sliding saddle so let's add some notifications center lines for that one so we can modify and as the dimensions like the previous one and let's make one more thing like making uh, a detail section detail so from here we let's select this hole outside here and increase the scale one to three and let's modify or edit the dimensions so from here to there the whole diameter or the solute hole dimensions will be like that okay now let's add a, the ground and glug detail so from here from views let's select the ground and glug so let's open the parts and from here let's select the ground and glug so let's select it from here and now you can change the orientation of the view with the scale of the view one two we'll move it here and make it as grounding lug here as the dimensions for the grounding lug sorry that's the center line from here let's define this value to be like that the same offset from here to there the whole diameter and the fillet now you have this item if you would like to add a balloon to this one so it will be item 48 and for this base blade if you select parts legacy it will be item 41 so if we come back to uh, our general arrangement here and open the uh, second one second detail 41 it's a base blade so that's the definition or, or description of this base blade if you would like to add a tag number for, for that one like description for this plate you can do it like that or for that trip you can add a description like that for plates which uh, identify the lens and width of the plates here for example if you would like to check that so that's the length of the rib and that's the width of the rib with the thickness so let's add the thicknesses here 13 millimeters 13 millimeters so as you can see we uh, generate the uh, 3d model and this and the previous uh, tutorial uh, and we uh, make uh, some uh, details uh, by hand like the internal uh, supports here for uh, the nozzle after adding the uh, make some other modifications for the ring on the previous video we, we will we made the cut on the rings by hand so uh, after creating the uh, 3d model we proceed with generating the uh, fabrication drawings of this equipment and we did the following which is uh, creating the general arrangement drawing in two sheets the first sheet include the views and some other uh, the, uh, tables like design table notes table and nozzle table we add some dimensions to the general arrangement drawing we select the welding details at a key plan and on the second sheet we generate the envelope material and generate a 3d model add some balloons to this 3d model let's add some other balloons like for the uh, lifting lug let's attach another balloon for the lifting lug clip and for here let's add a balloon for uh, this nozzle and let's select the pipe and Rebad, so that's the pipe and the rebad. Okay, so by that way you can add uh, 
values uh, for items. So it's item 47. So let's add a ring. So here we have those items for the bell of, uh, for the nameplate. Let's select the nameplate here. And the nameplate clips. The nameplate as me nameplate and the client nameplate. So you can add balance by that way. Some other balance for this nozzle and the stiffening grips, another grip. So we have those grips here. Some other balance for that nozzle. Attach balloon, this balloon, and another balloon. Okay, so item 56 is a bit, so they are with the same dimensions. So item 56, so we have two support with the same width and thickness. Okay, so by that way, we generate the uh, 3D model, the fabrication rooms, and we generate <coughs> a saddle detail, uh, fixed and sliding saddle with some other uh, details like grounding lug and the 3D model for the uh, saddle. Uh, hope uh, that is this uh, session we cover some of uh, your questions about drawing generation by SEG software and how we can use it. Uh, kindly, if you have more questions, kindly contact us uh, for any further cl clarification. Uh, have a nice day and see you soon, inshallah. Assalamu